Microwave Sensors utilizes the principle of sending out microwave signals and analyzing the reflected signal to detect objects and measure their distance. These sensors operate based on the Doppler effects, which changes in frequency and wavelength of a wave as perceived by moving object relative to the source of the wave. When the microwave signal is emitted by the sensor, it travels through the air until it encounters an object. The signal interacts with the object and reflects back towards the sensor. By measuring the time it takes for the signal to return, the sensor can calculate the distance between itself and the object. Additionally, by analyzing the frequency shift of the reflected signal, the sensor can determine the speed and direction of the moving object. Microwave active sensors are active sensors. They emit their own signals and do not rely on external light sources. This makes them highly effective in various environments, including low height conditions and adverse weather such as rain, fog, or snow. Unlike passive sensors, which rely on detecting changes in ambient radiation, microwave active sensors can provide accurate and reliable results regardless of lighting conditions. Types of microwave sensors include continuous wave radar sensors. These sensors emit a continuous microwave signal and measure the frequency shift of the reflected signal. They are commonly used in traffic monitoring systems to detect speed and movement of vehicles. We also have frequency modulated continuous wave radar sensors. FMCW sensors emit a continuously changing frequency signal and measure the frequency difference between the emitted and reflected signals. This allows for more precise distance and speed measurements and is often used in industrial automation and distance measurement applications. Pulse radar sensors emit short bursts of microwave energy and measure the time it takes for the signal to return. These sensors are commonly used in security systems to detect presence of intruders or in automobiles applications to avoid collisions. Also, there is Doppler radar sensors. Doppler radar sensors focus on detecting the frequency shift of the reflecting signal caused by measurement of objects. They are often used in speed enforcement systems, weather monitoring, and sports applications. Microwave emitters include microwave oscillators, generate microwave signals at specific frequencies. Common types include gun diodes and magnetrons. Also, microwave emitters contains Amplifiers which boost the microwave signal strength. Traveling wave tube amplifiers TWTAS and solid state power amplifiers SSBAs are frequently used. Even antennas which is responsible for emitting and receiving microwave signals. They include horn antennas, patch antennas, and parabolic reflectors. Materials that used include gallium arsenide, which is commonly used in microwave semiconductor due to its high electron mobility and frequency performance which is used in integrated circuits for microwave applications, offering a balance of performance and cost. Dielectric materials such as PTFE, Teflon, or ceramics may be used in substrates and components to ensure minimal signal loss and high frequency performance. Advantages provided by the microwave sensor include non-contact sensing, high accuracy and reliability, wide detection range, fast response time, versatility, Applications of microwave sensors include security systems, traffic monitoring, RCWL 0516 sensor module has a detection range of up to 7 meters and can detect objects moving at speed of up to 2 meters per second. It is also has a built-in adjustable delay time which can be used to prevent the sensor from triggering repeatedly on the same object. In summary, this model uses microwave radar to detect moving objects. Detection range of up to 7 meters. Can detect objects moving at speed of up to 2 meters per second. Built-in adjustable delay time. Low power consumption. Inexpensive. Also, these are some of the specification of RCWL 0156. Supply voltage 4 to 28 VDC. Operating frequency is 3.18 GHz. Sensing distance is 5 to 7 meters. Output level 3.4 V, high less 0.7 low. Output drive of 100 mA. Output timing of 2 seconds retrigger with motion.
Also, the sensor comes with the option to solder a light-dependent resistor. If you want your sensor to operate just in the dark conditions, you can get the output of the LDR sensor on the LDR pin. When the output of the LDR is bigger than the 0.7V, the output pin will output a high signal when motion is detected. If the motion is detected but the output of the LDR is smaller than 0.7V, the output will be low. This means that when attaching an LDR, the sensor will only sense motion when it is dark. You can adjust the sensitivity of the LDR by connecting a resistor on the RCDS pads by addition of pull-up resistor externally in parallel with the CDS pin. At the back of the sensor, there are three pads for additional adjustments SMD components. CTM, regulate the repeat trigger time. The default time is two seconds. An SMD capacitor to extend the repeat trigger time. Pin three of the IC emits a frequency F and the trigger time in seconds is given by one over F times three, two, six, seven, eight. RGN has a default detection range of seven meters. Adding one M resistor reduces it to five meters. RCDS is resistor in parallel with the 1M pull-up. Without RCD, the lowest resistance of the LDR highest height level, where the output is enabled, is 0.7V. Adding resistance here decreases the LDR resistance of the enable or disable threshold. If the LDR resistance at the desired height level is less than 269K, then you could add an external resistor in series with the LDR. The RCWL0516 Microwave Radar Proximity Sensor Pinout R. 3V3. This is the output from the voltage regulator, not the power pin. VIN. This is the power input pin. This sensor can be powered by voltage range of 4 to 28 volts. GND stands for ground pin. OUT. This is the output pin. The output pin goes high when the sensor detects movement and remains low when it doesn't. CDS. This pin is used to connect a light-dependent resistor LDR. The LDR can be used to disable the sensor in bright light conditions. Now in the experiment we are going to set a motion sensor that triggers an alarm when a motion is detected, and we are going to use microwave radar sensor module RCWL 0516. An LDR is used so that it can work in the dark or at night only. A transistor to help switch the circuit. We also have the siren, diode, resistor, and LED. Let's wire the circuit. As we can see, the battery powers the sensor module, which provides a signal through its output terminal, which lights the green LED in the same time. Open the gate of the transistor, hence allows conduction of the transistor triggering the alarm. Also, we can connect the module of the sensor with Arduino module. In this section, we'll wire the RCWL0516 sensor to the Arduino board. We'll also connect on LED pin 13 that will light up when motion is detected. Parts required include Arduino Uno board, RCWL 0516 microwave radar sensor, light dependent resistor, 220 ohm resistor, maybe breadboard and jumper wires. Now connecting of sensor to Arduino. 3V3 don't connect. GND to Arduino ground, out to pin 12, or any other digital pin of your choice. 
VIN to 5V or any voltage between 4V to 28V. CDS, don't connect or connect an external LDR dependent based on your requirement. Now let's do wiring. Understanding the coding used in the Arduino, Arduino module has power pins, analog input pins, and digital pins. Using a code in Arduino, you must use the appropriate codes to the Arduino. Let me explain the example of the code to use. First we must have void setup. We must initialize LED as an output. Also we must initialize sensor as an input. Also we must initialize serial. Then we have void loop part. Arduino has to read sensor value and check if the sensor is high. If it is high, it turns on the LED, meaning the motion is detected, and else if low turn off the LED meaning motion stopped. And this is just a basic of how to code with Arduino.